Okay, race eight. So three mile four furlong the time form handicap chase. Not to one thirty handicap. I'm not a Newbury, I'm at Haydock. So my apologies for that. So Isabel Reform for Davy Lad, Roach for Paul O'Neill, Denevo for Darren Thompson, and Motta for Daney for Alex Cherry. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do for Pontypool Racing. Bayswater Marsh for Davy Lad, Arbor Lodge for Paul Rhodes, Fuerta Del Rey for Darren Thompson, Deep Perfection for Thomas Rogers, Fiddler's Woman's for Derek Hinton. Plain Lucky for Martin Liedem and Captain Bluebird for Ryan Costello makes up 12. There's three and a half miles. Here at Haydock. Star has got him away. Wait for him to settle down. We're grazing this race five. That's two from David Robinson. Man Clutterbuck. We won't get over the first. Come a little bit slower. A deep reflection towards the rear up against the fence. And Lugo got over it particularly well. Oh, it's just going to be led by Mott for a Dini from Arbor Lodge. That's a very, very slow pace here. It's going to be a rather tactical race as they get to the second. Everybody's over it. It was a poor jump there by, I think, I do, I do, I do, I do. The grey and the Grand Clutterbuck Silks. Why does it always do no vote? That grey there. That is Mott for a Dini from Arbor Lodge and Deep Reflection. Roach. Roach didn't get over that well. And the Grace. The 3-3. Three, three. Jumping hasn't been an ideal. And a really slow pace here. We go past the winning post. We go on another circuit. There's Mock Fred Daney from Arbor Lodge and Deep Reflection. And one, two, three. Moving out on the outside is Fuerte Del Rey. Through and I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Against the fence is Roach. From Dave Robertson, horses there, Isabel Reform. And Bayswater Marsh. Half a length back to Del Hinton's Fiddler's Woman. Up against the fence. And the outside of that is De Novo. And plain Lucky. And just at the rear is Captain Bluebird. We'll, uh, lumber over the fourth. Just being led by Montfred Daly. Oh, pretty close order here. But with this pace leading to the fifth, poor jump there by deep reflection, went straight through the top of it. Travels back down the pack. But Alex Cherry's not for a Dainey, still leads us. From Arbor Lodge, and I do, I do, I do, I do. And got deep reflection pushing through again. Over the six. If he gets over it, so I'm making hard work of this. Looking to follow up his previous winner. Two on the date. And the seventh. Again, some slow lumbering jumps. Everybody's still on their feet. Still got one over two and a half miles to go. And it's still not very dainty. Approaching second, I do, I do, I do. Moving up against the fences, Arbor Lodge. And we have his deep reflection. Why is Grey have always fought to Del Rey? Why there still is De Novo against the fence from what uh, Isabella Reform, I think. Could be Bayswater Marsh. Between those is a plain lucky. And Fuerte Del Rey has gone back down the pack a little bit. Fiddler's Woman's. And Captain Bluebird. So we're just under two miles to travel. It's still not for a day neat. We could bowl along. Although no pace in the race. It's a small ditch. Negotiates it. It's only halfway through the fences here. And it's still mock for a daily by length and a half to deep reflection. And what I do, I do, I do. Roach against the fence. The outside of it is Arbor Lodge. Grey widest towards Fuerte Del Rey. Followed through by De Novo. Plain lucky as they get to the 11th. Poor jump there by Bayswater Marsh. It's uh, demoted his horse along to join his stable mate, Isabel Reform, towards the rear. And Captain Bluebird. But still. Ten lengths between last and first. We're over the twelfth. Well, oh, we've lost one there. And see, this jockey for to Del Rey went. And, uh, pecked on landed. Jockey got off. Lucky for David, Bob, David Robertson. No. It's the Thompson's horse. He's got another one in here. Just a no vote. But it's still not Fred Daney from Roach. 
half a length now. Link back to deep reflection. I do, I do, I do, I do. So that is De Novo playing lucky in orange silks, moving well on the inside is Fiddler's Woman's. Ah, the lodgers take a bit of a rest and shuffle back down the pack. Being followed through by the Robertson horses of Bayswater Marsh and Isabella Reform. And Captain Bluebird's three to four off the pack at the back. So with a mile and a quarter to run, it's Roach and Mottfred Damey. These two go together over the 13th. They'll take it well. Lead by three. And I do, I do, I do, I do. Peter's woman's moved well up on the inside now. Joins deep reflection for a share of third. But still, Mottfred Damey and Roach go over it together. Pace in this race. We've still got a mile to travel. And so we're making it hard work. So it's Mark Fred, Damien, and Roach. These two together. He gets the plane on the 15th. But he's over a couple of mistakes at the back by Fiddler's Woman's and Deep Reflection. And through the top of that one. Shuffle back down the pack. So Mark Fred, Damien. It's about seven furlongs now. Jockey pushes him along a bit. Wants to maintain the lead. Pulling the length away from Roach now. He's in second. Gets the 16th. Good as over it. Including Captain Bluebird at the rear. But it's still not for a Daney. Small ditch. Oh, we lost another one there. Isabella Reform's gone. The one that slipped his jockey. But it's not for a Daney as they swing left handed now with five furlongs to go along straight up to the finish line. It's not for a Daney pulling away now from Roach Fiddler's Woman under a little bit of pressure moving again now as well as deep reflection. They're all off the bridle here under uh, the one that's got a bit stuck lucky is playing lucky and certainly hasn't been lucky so far. So with half a mile to go as they go for the 18th, three from home. And it's still Mockford Daney by a good couple of lengths now from hard running Roach Deep Reflection. Bayswater Marsh is the one that's going to throw down the biggest challenge, I imagine, as we come down to three ferns, a small ditch. The leader's over it, but really slow. But it's Mockford Daney from got Deep Reflection and Bayswater Marsh. These two on the wide outside is De Novo, but it's still Mockford Daney. Been there since the beginning. He's got a quarter of a mile left to travel. It's Mark Fred Daney from Bayswater Marsh is thrown down the challenge now from Deep Reflection. Oh, oh a slow jump there by Bayswater Marsh is allowing Mark Fred Daney to get away from it. So we're inside the final furlong. No, a furlong and a half, and it's still Mark Fred Daney. Bayswater Marsh coming to hack him back down. I do, I do, I do. De Novo on the outside. Running well now, playing lucky. They get to the last. A slow jump from Mark Fred Daney's 11. We've lost one. Bayswater Marsh. I do, I do, I do. Went to the last. But it's Bayswater Marsh inside the final half. It's just going to hang on this from playing lucky, running on well. De Novo trying to get up in time, but it is just going to be Bayswater Marsh that takes this for David Robertson. There's little Captain Bluebird, Blackbird, Bluebird. And playing lucky, got up for second. No, Denova hung on for second. Playing lucky was third. Our long-time leader, Mockfred Daney, was fourth. I think uh, Fiddler's Warrens of Derek Hinton was fifth. So the winner is Bayswater Marsh. Takes the time from Hampton to get Chase here for David Robertson. Second was Denova for Darren Thompson. Third was playing lucky for Martin Leader. Mockfred Daney for Act Cherry was fourth. And Fiddler's Women's 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 for Derek Hinton was fifth.